Hey, how's it everybody? My name is Philip and today we're talking about my top five traveling apps I have on my phone. Welcome back to Travel Talk, the channel we talk everything travel and I'll answer all your questions. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and you won't miss out on any more travel tips and advice coming in future videos. Now, like I said, today I'm going to tell you my top five apps I have on my phone that's very handy for traveling. There are hundreds of apps you can download that'll be very useful for when you're traveling. But the five I want to talk to you to today are the ones I also use the most. One of my favorite apps from Amazon it's well, two different apps Kindle so you have your ebooks you can read at leisure while you're traveling and you don't have to pack a whole lot of books with you you can download the Kindle app onto your smartphone and then have all the books you want to read on your phone I however prefer the audible app and in the link below in the description I'll have a link which you can click on and you can have a 30 day free trial and one free book on Audible that you can download and you can check out the app for yourself. I prefer the Audible app because when you're sitting on a bus, on a train, on an aeroplane or anywhere where it's shaky, you can't really hold your phone or your tablet that well. It's shaking. I prefer having someone read the book for me. So all I have to do is plug in my earphone, my headset, and I can listen to the audiobooks. There are thousands of books you can download, fiction, non-fiction, you name it. Definitely one of my favorite apps. The next app is a translating app. Google Translate, very handy. And you can also download a translation dictionary so you can use it offline. It's brilliant. With Google Translate, you also get the ability to take a photo of written text and it can translate that to like a menu, street signs. So you don't just actively have to type in your language to translate it to the foreign language or the country that you're in. It work brilliant if you have foreign language text you can use the camera and it'll translate for you it also has a speech option where you can then hear how to pronounce it and help you communicate the third app would be a maps app google have maps but uh, an app i use often is called city maps you can also download the city's maps while you have Wi-Fi or you're online and then can use it offline, which I find very handy because often traveling and you're not in a high in a often traveling and you're not in a Wi-Fi spot. Using data while roaming is very expensive. But if you download the city maps app, the specific city or area you're going to visit you can use it offline and has all the information you need it really came in handy when I was in Beijing so happy I did it now I do it every time I go somewhere then the next app I use a lot while traveling and also preparing for traveling is a currency converter my favorite one is XE currency and again you can use it offline if you, there are some currencies you often use, you can program them into your home screen. So they're always available. Very easy to use, fairly accurate. I mean, currencies change and exchange rates can be different whether you use it as a bank or way you exchange your money, maybe in person from someone on the street, which is not always encouraged but it'll give you a very good idea with pricing and how much things will cost, especially when 
currencies aren't easy to work out when it's one to two or something like that where you can quickly work it out in your head great app very handy to have then app number five is the one we probably all use whether we're traveling or not and that's whatsapp excellent for communication you can send text messages you can make voice calls and you can make video calls so it's a great way to stay in touch with family and friends at home or family and friends is also traveling you all just need a internet connection wi-fi works really well so whatsapp is probably the best communication app i can recommend two more apps i can quickly mention airbnb very good and useful if you are thinking about needing something for accommodation and you also get skyscanner which is a great app for booking flights finding flights for your travels so those are just my top five apps i use for traveling like i said in the links below there's a link to a 30-day free trial and one free audiobook so check that out brilliant and until we talk again keep traveling stay safe